In this video, we talk about 10 plus screenshot tips for iOS 11. Let's check it out. By now, everyone knows how to take a screenshot in iOS. You press the home button and the sleep button at the same time. Let's do it. Screenshot taken, right? But the difference here is that the screenshot is now placed in the bottom left-hand corner of the display for further action. So let's talk about the actions we can take. First of all, we can stack multiple screenshots on top of one another, just like this. So you see, there's a stack of three screenshots. Now, suppose we don't take any action and we let the screenshots dismiss. Well, don't worry because those screenshots are automatically saved to your photo library. You can find them here. Here are the three screenshots, actually the four screenshots that I just took. The first one and then the stack of three. Now, you can also quickly dismiss a screenshot simply by swiping to the left like this. So if you don't want it staying there, you can just get rid of it, even if it's a stack of multiple screenshots. Just swipe to the left like that. Since it's iOS 11, it should come as no surprise that you can drag and drop screenshots as well. So just tap, hold, drag, open the receiving app, and release, just like that. But you can also drag and drop multiple screenshots. So we're gonna create a stack of screenshots here. There's two, and you see the number two there to let you know how many you have. And we can just tap on the app we wanna open and drop it just like that. Now I kind of spoiled it already, but you can actually hold a stack or a single screenshot on top of an app icon, open that app automatically, and then drop those screenshots in. So I'm gonna do so right here with the Notes app. Just tap hold over the Notes app icon and release just like that. You can also quickly share a screenshot by using a long press gesture. So let me show you right here. Just long press, and that invokes the share sheet. So I can obviously share over AirDrop or I can use any of the other apps that I have configured, such as, I don't know, Slack, for instance. So if I just swipe over, there's Slack and others. You can also mark up screenshots. Simply tap on the screenshot so we'll dismiss the share sheet. A single tap like that places you in a markup mode. So now you can use your Apple Pencil or your finger, if that's what you wanna do, and mark up your photo. Just like this. Now, once you're finished, you can actually share marked up screenshots. So just use the share button in the upper right hand corner and use the share sheet. Now you can also save or delete your marked up screenshots by tapping the done button in the upper left hand corner. So you can save the photos or you can just delete the screenshot without saving. And since this is pretty much gibberish, I'm gonna delete this one. Now here's something really cool. You can take a screenshot using a keyboard shortcut in iOS 11. So just use Command, Shift, and 3. Press those three keys at the same time, like this, to take a screenshot. And you can actually rapidly take multiple screenshots and they'll just stack up, ready to be used. But you can also mark up a screenshot using another keyboard shortcut, Command, Shift, 4. So that takes the screenshot and automatically puts you in a markup mode ready to mark up your photo with your Apple Pencil or your finger. But you can also mark up multiple screenshots. So say you take multiple, you have a stack there using Command Shift 3. Watch what happens when you use Command Shift 4 with your stack displayed. It automatically places all of those screenshots into markup mode, ready to be marked up. That is awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at over 10 different screenshot tips for iOS 11. If you appreciated this, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.